the issue, I mean, one of the central reasons I've jumped into this race is because our state cannot just keep doing the same thing we've been doing for decades, rolling out one unproven government program after another and expect a different result. That hasn't brought progress, and it won't, for a pretty simple reason. Many programs, no matter how well-intentioned they are, just don't work. We've seen that too often when the results are measured, and I can give you some examples of that. Um, but to make progress, we have to instead focus on solutions that don't just sound like they're good ideas, but have actually been tested in the real world and shown to make a big difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. So I can give you an example if, to your question of um, yeah. something that isn't working and what we could replace it with, something that does work. Would that yeah. suit your taste? Yeah. All right. So um, the largest job training program in the United States for adult and dislocated workers is a multi-billion dollar program. It's been around in various forms with different names since the 1970s. In Maryland alone, it's about a $30 million program. So it's a big program here as well. There was a large federal study that just came out a couple of years ago that showed that the workers who got training under this program end up with wages that are roughly the same as the, an equivalent group of workers who didn't get the training. In other words, this is a classic example of a large, well-intentioned program, a lot of money. It's been around for 40, 50 years. It's not working. And people are putting their time and their effort and their energy trying to get ahead, and it's not yielding results. By contrast, there are some job training programs that are extremely effective, um, that have been tested and shown, and my philanthropic team has been involved in my work with uh, the Obama administration in expanding some of these. They've been tested and shown to increase earnings as much as 40% sustained over time. The key to the effectiveness is to focus that training on industries that are fast growing, like information technology and healthcare, and also to work hand in hand with employers who provide paid internships to the trainees. So under my plan, the state will pay for the training, the employers will pay for the internships, our economy gets skilled workers, everybody benefits because we're going to scale it up statewide so that, so that every young adult in Maryland who wants to advance can get access to something that will really put them ahead, this kind of training. Do you feel that the other candidates in this race uh, are going to continue with the same sort of policies that have not been working? Yes, uh, I think that's what distinguishes me from the other candidates in the race. Um, we all share similar goals. We all want to improve education. Uh, economic opportunity for all, not just the privileged few. But what they are proposing is, what I'm proposing is something different, uh, a very different approach to achieving those goals. What they're offering is the same old worn out playbook of rolling out or expanding one unproven program after the next and hoping it's going to work. We've done that. That's what we've been doing all these years. My approach, along with my running mate, Natalie Williams, is very different. It is saying we are going to focus like a laser beam on approaches that have actually been shown to deliver results and improve people's lives, have actually been tested. Not just well-intentioned, not just spending money, tested and shown to really make a big difference in people's lives, like the job training program, and I hope we can discuss others. We've got a closet full of proven solutions.